Hello everybody and welcome to another Technical Thursday with me, the Dropship Demon. So today I'm going to walk you through how I use the Amazon Basket feature to keep an eye on my prices. When you're dropshipping, uh, especially from Amazon, you really do need to keep an eye on your prices because stock situations, especially on the run to Christmas, can get absolutely crazy. And what I do is I have a spreadsheet, which I've gone through in another video, so take a look at my channel and see if you can um, use that video to help you with your spreadsheet. And what I do is I log into my Amazon account several times a day just to check the prices, make sure everything's still in stock and that I'm not you know, suddenly going to make a loss on something because some jackass has stuck 100 quid on it. So this is what I do. So let's find a random item. Um, this this thing, this thing here. There we go. Let's have a look at this. This store it out thing. So for instance, say I had decided I was going to sell this item. Uh, what I do is I click here, add to basket. Okay, so you just click that. Yes, that's lovely. I don't want Prime, thank you very much. As you can see, it's been added to my basket. Now, straight away, you can see it's told me about basket changes. So all these items have either increased. So that Bosmere patio set cover, I'll probably take that off today because that's a hell of an increase. Um, this cube thing has decreased by two, a whole two English pence, so I probably won't bother with that one. Again, this Draper patio set cover that I've got in my basket has decreased by three quid. Woo, that means brilliant. I'm not going to change that one because extra profit is extra profit. Okay, so now what I do is I click edit basket. And straight away again, it reminds me here that these items... It will do this for you as soon as you log into your Amazon account as well. It'll show you at the top, as but or if you click my basket, and I'll show you that in a minute. So there we go. We've got this in our basket now. I don't want to keep it in my basket because if I do want to order something, I'll have to clear my basket out. So what you do is you click here where it says save for later underneath. Click save for later, and there you go. It saves in the save for later which is brilliant because now if somebody buys it, all I have to do is click move to basket. Then what I do every now and again is I will just scan down and as you can see, everything is still in stock. This one here says that there's only six left in stock. So I'll be keeping an eye on that one in stock, only 11 left in stock. So again, you want to make sure that these prices at the side you're keeping an eye on and especially the stock levels. And this can be done really, really simply, especially with them flashing up at the top. So all you have to do when you first log in is just click on your basket. It won't do it now because I've already seen it. But when you uh, log into Amazon, just click on your basket and that warning will pop up at the top to tell you if anything's changed. Makes it super simple to check. And I suggest that you do that as often as you can during the day. So there you have it. That's how I keep an eye on my stock levels using the Amazon basket. And it also means that my items are sitting there waiting for my customers. So I don't have to go through and search for them again. I simply click move to basket and I carry on with the sale. So I hope you found that helpful. If you have, then please do like, share and subscribe. If you haven't found it helpful, then keep it to yourself. And I'll see you on another video giving you some more help for your eBay and Amazon business. Take care.